everybody. Welcome to a quickie with Miss B. I'm Miss B. Today is Tuesday. Thanks so much for joining us. <laughs> I don't know why you keep coming back every week, but we're <laughs> glad that you do. And remember, don't do it alone. Bring lots of friends. Yeah. Share this. Share it on social media. <laughs> so everybody else will know that God does not make change. <laughs> do not expect change. <laughs> If you're wondering what we're referring to, you'll have to go back and check out yesterday's episode. <laughs> I still, yeah, God doesn't make change. <laughs> no, he <it> doesn't. <laughs> and who was I to think he did? <laughs> Once again, sorry, Dad. <laughs> Yeah, that would have been happening in my world too. That's why I'm laughing so hard. Oh, yeah, yeah. See now that that was bad. But when the next <clears throat> the next moment, I've brought this up before too. But the next moment was my dad's fault. So I want to. <laughs> this is a moment in my life that'll always be there, and I want to talk about it again. I've mentioned this before. <laughs> I I had this desperate need for this rocket. I was just into rocketry, and I wanted this thing. It was six <laughs> foot tall. It was called the Big Bertha. This thing's a six foot tall black rocket, Estes rocket from back in the uh, in the in the late seventies. I wanted this thing so bad, Christine, and <laughs> apparently they got it, and my father put it away, and then Christmas came, and Christmas went. I did not. <laughs> I did not get the rocket. Now you know I've been I've been relatively good for the whole stinking year. You know what I mean I had. This was like my Christmas story. You know the movie Christmas Story? He wants the Red Rider. Okay. Yeah. I wanted the big Bertha rocket. All right. I was into <laughs> rocketry. I was building rockets on my own. But, but this thing is six feet tall. All right. Yeah. Giant parachute. This was the bad of the bad back then. This was an Estes <laughs> rocket. And I wanted this rocket so bad. My father knew. I gave every clue, you know, everything a kid could do. I, I didn't kidnap anybody and say, this is what I want for you to get away. I didn't do that. So shy of that, I had let everybody know what I needed. And uh, lo and behold, Christmas came, as I said. And no, no, there's no Estes <coughs> rocket for me. I just socks and all your regular <laughs> stuff. No rocket. And, and eventually, you know. A kid, we've all had it. You've had your Christmas disappointment. You're just quiet. You realize that it probably was too much money. Whatever, blah, blah, blah. And you move on with life. And then, uh, you know, months go by, Christine. Months. <laughs> months go by. And then he needs me to help him with something. Because he's got to get some stuff. Like, you know, they, they shove suitcases and things under the bed, you know. Or the yeah. suitcase doesn't quite fit. But if you smash it enough, it'll fit under the bed. And that's where you keep it. And then all of a sudden, yeah. someone's got to have it. So now it takes an ordeal to get this thing out of there. And then all of a sudden, guess what comes out in a package? <laughs> yep. The Big Bertha rocket. <laughs> I'm crushed. <laughs> now, he feel, now he seems to feel that my being crushed is stupid. <laughs> He's a... My dad gets all matter of fact sometimes. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> what do you know? All right. I, I, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I forgot that. Yep. I'm like, is that? Yep. Oh, I was supposed to get that. Oh, you were supposed to get that for Christmas. That's right. That's right. You're like, what What are you saying? <laughs> There's a crest kid here. He's like, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, hey, here you go. What? Happy June. And in his world, you wanted it, I got it, and then I gave it to you. What part about that so depressing that you're acting like, I don't know, I stole your puppy or something? I just got this look like, happy June. What? How, how does it? What? What world are we in right now? How does this work? And your dad viewpoint that oh <laughs> yeah you oh oh yeah no oh you know what yeah you were supposed to get that for Christmas for 
Okay. Yep. All right. Well, um, happy June. Happy June. You're like, <laughs> and, and, and in his brain, you wanted it. Check. Yes. I got it. Check. I gave it to you as a present because it's what you wanted. Check. All the boxes are checked. What's your problem? Christmas present, not just present, but well, Christmas. In his world, in his world, you got it. Shut up. Let's go. Move on. <laughs> And like I said before, when I told this story last time, that's when I remembered the next story I'll tell you later on in the next show because I became, we actually become our parents. Yes, we do. So the next one I'll tell you guys about how I became this crazy person. But yeah, he hands it to me and wants me to move on. He's done, Christine. Happy joke. That's what you wanted, right? How do you look at the kid and go, oh, well, that's what you want. I got the right one, right? Yeah, you got the right one. But I wanted this six months ago. My birthday's in May. It's June. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, well, happy birthday then. No, you're not robbing me of the birthday. How is it? Uh. In his, in his world, I don't know what your problem is, but you wanted it, I got it for you. There you are. Happy June. And on that note, we'll be back in a moment after we celebrate the happy, merry birthday Christmas. Yes. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. You're listening to Quickie with Miss B. If you missed the first half of that episode, you didn't miss anything. <laughs> go back and listen to it in June. When it'll actually matter. It'll all make sense then. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is what they were talking. Oh, yeah. That's cute. Yeah, yeah. All I can say is your dad sounds like a character. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Just yeah. say it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well... <laughs> Mine is not Christmas or birthday related. <laughs> Mine was actually a story about when I was running late. <laughs> oh, do tell. <laughs> little Miss Type not... Little Miss Type A waiting on a Type A was late. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> so <laughs> excuse me. <clears throat> I had to go pick up my cousin from the airport. Uh, she was flying in to Canada. <clears throat> Uh, a place up north, uh, about four hours away from where I live. So I had did to you just did you just Canada. describe what Canada was? <laughs> she was north. coming into Canada. That's a place up north, about four hours from where I live. Really? Well, <laughs> <laughs> really? I can't remember the name of the city in in Ontario. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Canada. That's a place about four hours away, kids. <laughs> well, welcome to Miss Welcome to Miss B's geography class. <laughs> No, no, don't trust my geography. I didn't do so good. Anyways, so I'm running late, and I get to the border. Now, I've crossed the border many, many times, and I have heard the spiel inside and out. <laughs> so I thought, you know, I'm going to help this process along. <laughs> See, now, I usually don't do so well when I do that. Yeah, I failed miserably. <laughs> right now, there's a whole bunch of people going, no. <laughs> so I'm waiting. And, you know, it seems like I'm waiting in line forever. And there was a couple cars in front of me. And, you know, it takes them a while to go through all the questions. And I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, she's, she's going to be waiting. She probably thinks I forgot about her, you know, because I was really running late. So I'm the, I'm the next car in line. I get up there. You know, you make your stop. and. He comes over and he starts to ask you your questions. And I said, hi, I'm just here for the day. No, I don't have no alcohol, tobacco, or firearms. I'm not purchasing anything. And I'm not bringing anything in with me. <laughs> he took a look at me said, pull it over there. <laughs> you know where they have that little yeah. car park? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, well, your, your name had changed to this new one called... Suspect. 
Bill, yeah, get the gloves. <laughs> so I have to go park my car over there, sit in the car and wait for them to come on over, get escorted out of the car, escorted into the office. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're going to enjoy you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so I, get the, I get into the office and i'm like oh shh, i'm in hot water now <laughs> oh yeah that was my first thought so then i had to open up my purse empty out all the contents of my purse out on the table and they had to go through every individual thing and i swear to god he was being so slow and so controlled about this my anxiety was going through the roof because i'm not only late but now i'm in deep doo-doo <laughs> well yeah <laughs> then he's trying he's trying to show you um that there are these things called <laughs> side effects that come from being, <laughs> being you take my id go run that through the system make sure i'm not a criminal and whatever else that they check for yep. <laughs> which seems like it took forever which i'm sure it did but in my mind it felt like it took forever then once everything was okay then i could uh, get my id put the contents back in my purse and then make my way out to my car which is now has been gone through with a fine tooth comb <laughs> five dogs sitting there like well, there's actually nothing in your car. <laughs> Remember those mints you had? Those are gone too. <laughs> and then I was allowed <laughs> to get back into my car once I got everything straightened out and back into order because everything in there was just a mess. So I was super, super late picking up my um, cousin. And she's like, I was about to call you. I didn't think that you were coming. And she goes, I was getting quite worried. And she says, what happened? I'm like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> well, you, like, see, you see, dear auntie. <laughs> Christine thought she'd be a smart A. <laughs> and then she met another person and went, you know what? That sounds like fun. Why don't I be a smart A too? And he had some friends, and they all thought, you know what? Let's play a game. Let's all be smarties. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, there's only room for three. That means <laughs> you're going to have to play dumb A. <laughs> Thanks for yeah. playing. Thanks for playing dumb A. Please come again. Please visit again. <laughs> Here's your ID, and I'm not sure what happened to your car, but you're going to want to clean that up. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yep. Uh, yep. <laughs> and on that note, let's go make a run for the border. 